In 1939, Nicholas Winton gave 669 Czech children the gift of life. It's estimated that today there are as many as 5,000 direct descendants of Winton's children. Imagine if more lives could have been saved. This reality has shaped the mission and vision of the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation. As the only North American Jewish bone marrow registry, Gift of Life is dedicated to increasing the representation of the Jewish people in its bone marrow donor pool. Patients in need of a bone marrow transplant must find donors whose tissue type match their own. Since tissue type is inherited, the best chance of finding a genetic match lies with those of similar ethnic ancestry. The tragic loss of six million lives during the Holocaust had a direct effect on the ability of Jewish patients to find genetic matches for bone marrow transplants. Not only were shtetls and families destroyed, so were bloodlines. While the many Czech children who were rescued by Winton were able to escape the horrors of Nazi persecution, countless others were not so lucky. One of those children was Barbara Spector. I was separated from my family uh, and I was mostly with strangers and I was put into a cattle car. I was confused. I had no idea where we were taken and why we were taken till I got to Auschwitz. I know my mother died in the gas chamber in Auschwitz. I had three older brothers who were in the yeshiva. I don't know exactly where they died, but they died during the Holocaust. Barbara was eventually liberated from the concentration camps and made her way to the United States, where she met her husband and settled down to raise her family. But the horrors of the Holocaust returned years later, when Barbara learned that her daughter Ruthie would need a bone marrow transplant to survive the leukemia that had ravaged her body. When none of Ruthie's brothers or sisters turned out to be a suitable match, the family had no other choice but to appeal to the general public. That is when they turned to the gift of life. That was the first thing we were told. Look for your own family. But there were not much family to look at. The Holocaust had a huge impact on Jewish populations and cut off many bloodlines of, of relatives who potentially could have been donors for many of the patients who are alive today. The targeted search strategy employed by Gift of Life found that life-saving bone marrow match for Ruthie. To date, Gift of Life has facilitated bone marrow and blood stem cell transplants for hundreds of Jewish patients in need. Now you could be the one to help save a life. Donor tissue typing is fast, easy, and painless, involving only a swab of cells from inside the cheek. Testing is also expensive, requiring the financial support of philanthropists to underwrite this vital medical resource. It is, it is essential that we find more sources of financial support, whether it comes from private individuals, foundations, the government, corporations, we have to find it. Because if we build this database, we will save lives. So I think the most important thing we can do today is increase the funding for testing. My, my daughter Ruthie today is home with her family because there was some kind, generous person who was willing to give. And that's why she's here today. I mean, what could be more important than that in life? I, I just can't see anything more important. Millions of lives were lost during the Holocaust, but you are here today. You could be the one to help save a Jewish patient in need. Please visit the Gift of Life website at www.giftoflife.org or call 1-800-9-MARROW to find out how you can be tested to join the registry or make a tax-deductible gift to support Gift of Life's vital work for the Jewish people.